Take a deep breath in, everybody. I'm just going to set up the space, and what I like to do is call everybody in. Make sure we have a nice little container for us to work in. And for you, we're just going to invite you to bring all of your energy, all of your awareness into what we call the divine line, which is like a tube of light that flows just in front of the spine. If you're not familiar with our terminology, um, you might know it as your heart center, your heart space, just bringing all of your energy and awareness back to you. Hmm. Here we go. Perfect. Here it comes. All right. We're going to call forth the ascended masters, your guides, you from the future as an ascended master, the angelic beings of love and light that you work with, your higher self, your team, the councils of light, which is an energy consciousness that I work with. And oh, it's a new energy. I'm seeing the Galactic Federation of Light. And that might be a little woo-woo for some of you. But <laughs> just know it's all cool. <laughs> We're going to invite them to come forth now and surround you in this safe and sacred space. There it comes. <clears throat> Seventh plane. <sighs> We're going to call forth the appropriate sacred geometric healing shapes, holograms, and mandalas for today's session to swirl around you, your space, your place, your home, your property, your office, your car, wherever it is that you are, that has the capacity to model and reflect the vibrations of empowerment, personal responsibility, energetic integrity, healing, grace, joy, love, passion, purpose. and alignment. I'm going to ask that those intentions be held in your energetic fields. Yep. And with your permission, we are we usually do a whole big thing where we ground the energy and then we bring you up and we're not going to do that today. We don't have the time. So what we're going to do with your permission is just take you straight up into that higher vibration. So for a moment, if you do a grounding process, you can do that now because then we're going to shoot you up like a rocket. So just with your intention, intend your body, your team, your higher self to ground your energy completely, to increase your magnetics as we take your electrical energy and we're going to shoot that all the way up to that higher vibration. For some of you, it might be a little bit of a jolt. For others, it might not be. So with your permission, we're going to ask creator of all that is, your higher self, your body, your team, to bring the group's energy, either on the recording or live now, all the way up to the higher dimensions at the, res at the, at the residence of where your soul lives, which is exactly what I was going to say, or for some of you, the seventh plane, or for some of you who work with me in my other programs, the twelfth dimension, as quickly, as high, and as far as they can go in those higher planes, connecting with their own essence, energy, and source, Four, seven, and all to the degree that they so choose. And if you'd like that assistance, just say yes. And creator, there you go. <coughs> it's commanded to break them up there now. There we go. Could you feel that shift? You can use the chat box. I am keeping a hairy eyeball on it, so feel free to type in any comments as we move along. And with your permission, we'd like to begin with downloading everybody unconditional love. And if you'd like to receive that, just say yes. There it comes. Awesome. Now I'm going to call forth the councils of light. The councils of light are an energetic consciousness, a collective consciousness that I work with. It is con it's conducive. No, it is consisting consists of um, six to seven different uh, energies that. Ironically, all end in I A N S. I playfully call them the Ians, even though they don't like it. <laughs> um, but it's made up of groups called, uh, you might be familiar with some of them the Palladians, the Lemurians, the Lyrians, the Syrians, the Arcturians, the Andromedans. Um, I always forget one. I apologize. Today, they usually come in twos, so they facilitate in twos. So today, it's the Arcturians and the Lyrians, which are very, very advanced species um, of beings who are completely devoted to the evolution and 
growth of humanity here on the planet. They've devoted their, um, I don't want to say their lives, but a lot of their purpose to helping. <clears throat> and today the energy is going to be facilitated by them. First we will set up, uh, the space is already set. Now we're going to move into the actual healing process and we are going to remind you that any energy work that you experience, feel, or sense is not being done by them, it's not being done by me, and it's not being done by any other energy other than your own source, your own soul's energy. If in fact there is like a block or something stuck that they need to come in and literally put their quote unquote hands in your fields to help you remove that, they will let us know ahead of time and they will ask for your permission. So don't freak out if you suddenly feel <coughs> like there's energy all shifting around you that's you working on you, okay? They're like, thank you for explaining that. <laughs> okay. So if you're ready, here we go. So creator of all that is, it is commanded to bring in the templates, blueprints, grids, light codes, frequencies, healings, clearings, and shifting from the Councils of Light facilitated by the Arcturians today and the Lyrians for seven and all downloading that and moving those vibrations in for everybody now to the degree that they so choose. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so first they begin with a scan. Wow, group scan. It's big. First energy. Power source. And they're saying they're hitting the solar, they're going right for the solar plexus today, guys. Big solar plexus work. They're moving fast today. Okay. All right, so they're clearing cords. So today they told me um, they were going to focus on, I wrote it down, <clears throat> stuck energy in the body and chakra work. So um, this is not... on okay so when all the energy comes in sometimes I can't speak so that's happening now just so FYI that you know here we go clearing some of those pieces out they're saying not to explain just go with the energy okay clearing cords out of the solar plexus chakra you can type in the box if you're feeling it if you're not or any other experiences that you might be having is fine there we go. Okay, so the front, back, and the crystal structures. Okay, so they're covering the front of the chakra, the back of the chakra, and the crystalline structures that lie within. So most people don't know that your chakra actually does have a front and back. But what we don't know is in between, there are crystalline structures within that are also part and, and creates... Um, the chakra and they're going into those deep areas today too moving out any energy that's stuck in there and anywhere that you're being courted either by um, other people other beings other energies there you go and taking that to the light deep breath in and they're going to recalibrate this chakra to your own source soul's energy spinning it in the right direction at the right color the right frequency okay. in the solar plexus okay next piece we're moving on next piece is a uh, past life trauma oh, I caught it past life trauma healing around persecution. So some of you still have that. Hey, Moira. Some of you still have that going on. So they're going to move some of that past life trauma out of your fields because the full moon energy is allowing for that. So we can actually go deeper when this moon energy, and it's also a super moon, so we're going a little deeper than we ordinarily do. And so that is happening right now, past life trauma around persecution. Let it go, my friends. Let it go. We don't need it anymore. Send it off with love and light. Bye, guys. Bye, trauma. Let's release the trauma. Yes, release the negative karma. Return and retrieve all soul fragments. 
Return and retrieve all your soul gifts, wisdom, tools, and mastery. Return and retrieve all your power that you might have given away during that time of persecution in that past life. And bring that back in a clean, clear, recalibrated, whole and healed state into this present breath of now and beyond. Okay, so some of you, your higher selves from the future as ascended masters are actually bringing back those soul fragments that what happens when you have a past life trauma is you sometimes can leave a part of your energy self behind in that time. Okay, so we're multidimensional and there is no time, right? So part of us is still kind of stuck in that, um, that zone. Your higher self from the future as an ascended master is collecting that fragment and healing that energy, which is you working on you. Okay, and then reintegrating, this is kind of like soul retrieval for those of you who do energy work. Retrieving that fragment, cleaning it, clearing it, retrieving it, and bringing it, integrating it back into your energy field in a whole and healed state. Good. <clears throat> there might be a, oh, yeah, there might be some heart releases there was just like a pop in the heart chakra happening okay there's a lot of anger that's bubbling up because of this past life persecution don't be angry it's over let it go we don't have to be angry about it it's done right can't change the past so we can heal it in the in the present and let it go. So release all that anger. It's being held, where is it? In the throat and in the heart. Resentment. <coughs> Just give away all of that old energy. All of it. You don't need it. You, you don't have to focus on the anger and the resentment, you know? For most of you, this was like 400 years ago. That's really kind of holding one hell of a grudge. So let's just let that go. <laughs> let's bring in a healing for that point of time. And for those of you who are still um, working on releasing some of that old energy, so Creator is commanded to download a healing for everyone in that play, in that space. Here we go. Uh, they're lifting hooks up and off your energy fields. So if you imagine a hook, it's like a fishing hook. Um, and you have your fields like here people can come in and literally hook into your energy. It's not a full cord, it's just a hook. It's kind of like tapping in and um, siphoning, empathically feeling, attaching to you. Uh, we're gonna clear those out with your permission. Somebody's having some head pain, just breathe into that. Head pain is related, any pain or discord is related to resistance, okay? Really make the conservative statement, command, I'm ready to release this now. And uh, for those of you who are having head pain, open your crown chakra and allow that energy to just float out of your head, right? Just let it flow. There's no resistance. This is old, old energy. Let it go. There we go. Okay, so some of you are in like panic state, like I don't know what's going to happen. We're clearing all this energy out. What's next? You know, where am I going to go? What's going to happen? Blah, blah, blah. And you're working yourself up into a little bit of a tizzy. They're just bringing in um, some information to help calm the heart. To be okay with where you are right now. You don't have to know all the answers. They'll all come in divine timing. Okay. 
Okay, moving to some blocked <clears throat> or stuck energy that's stuck in the body. We're going to go to the liver. The liver, again, is uh, anger. You guys are really pissed. So let's go into that liver energy. And they're going to heal. <laughs> We're going to bring in a healing for the liver first. They're clearing and resolving any old contracts that you're still working from. So sometimes we contract with other energies <clears throat> um, to help us with specific lessons or, or um, awareness. And so some of those contracts are ready to go. You're done. They're complete. They just haven't been finalized. So we're going to um, engage and locate all of those contracts, vows, promises, agreements, fealties, and oaths that are ready to leave right now that no longer serve your highest path and purpose and to use all of this energy that of the full moon and all of this astrological configurations to release that and lift it up and out of your templates, blueprints, grids, energy fields, and your records and take them into the light, marking them complete and resolved. There we go. Returning and retrieving all pieces. That was a big one. Releasing all trauma, releasing all negative karma, activating all spiritual lessons so you don't have to come back and repeat that all again. Mark that complete, finished. And we're going to have them, um, I'm going to have, if you so choose to have yours written as well, I'm going to have my Akashic Records written to acknowledge this uh, dis dissolution of these contracts. So we're going to mark that complete in your Akashic Records if you so choose as well. <laughs> the Lords of Karma are here. I like to think of them as uh, pretty much a bunch of guides who walk around with like a book of everybody's karma and they just kind of open it up to see, you know, what your karma is. We're going to have the Lords of Karma release any negative karma that can be released today and have them mark it in your book of karma. <laughs> releasing all negative karma, releasing all drama, trauma, pain, and suffering that can go with that as well. And okay, and they're showing me like there's... Um, like cords that are extending out. I see them as cords, lines of love and light. If you sense any in them, we're just going to invite you to imagine with your senses, your perceptions, cut those. Cut those and send them back into the light. Return and retrieve all cords. All hooks. Yep, cut them. Send them back to their right and perfect place where they can be received with all relevant appropriate information. Oh, wow. Okay. So they're coming in with a healing now. I've never done this before. Um, for all of the times in the past where you were physically injured, um, they're calling it trauma points. All the points of trauma where your body, body was physically injured and you're still carrying those imprints in your fields. And that can sometimes lead to like mysterious illnesses. Um, it's kind of like, um, oh, I'm getting chills, kind of like um, uh, phantom, you know, it could be perceived as phantom illness um, because when, when you left the body, when the body was so damaged in those other lifetimes, it never really got to heal properly. Um, and so you bring those imprints when you reincarnate into this consciousness, when you, when you come back, um, those pieces are still imprinted in your fields. There you go. And in the body's fields. So this, this is a healing for the body. And we're going to ask the body to release all trauma as well. They're calling it the kill point. <clears throat> um, 
when in uh, previous incarnations you were killed and left the body really quick. So we're going um, to gonna do with that. Clear it and heal it and then recalibrate it. They're saying they're removing the kill point from the energy of the body deva. We call it the deva, the body deva, which is the consciousness of your physical human form. So they're uh, removing the kill point, cleaning, clearing, healing it. Some of you might get a lot of physical relief in the next coming days around that. Um, so they're just asking for a moment for any of you who are feeling any discord in the form because of that to really close your eyes and bring your energy and your awareness to that point. Not judging it, just looking at it, just observing it, allowing it to come up, holding that space for your body and allowing it to kind of like surface, come and bubble up and then release. Okay, so that may be something you might need to spend some time with today after the session if you're still having some aches or pains to remove that but just allowing it to release instead of resisting it the more you resist the more you actually keep it stuck in your energy which means the more discord you create which can then manifest into pain and discomfort and mental and emotional um, issues as well they need to go in and do it themselves no they would like to show them how to do that okay so my um, EMT guides they're my emergency medical response team <laughs> that's what I call them they're my emergency like <laughs> like you would call an ambulance they would like to come in and heal that kill point or at least show you how to heal that kill point some of you are like I don't know what to do with that so if you'd like to receive that um, just say yes and they will help you with that. Good. <sighs> All right, so there, it's moving out of the body and it's going up to the light. Excellent. So if you'd like to know, I know how and what to do in order to be a co-creator with my body on all levels and all dimensions and in all time space continuums. Our team guides will download that to you. If you like that download, just say yes. Creators commanded to download that for seven and all. All right, so releasing of all negative karma between you and your body. And anywhere the body <clears throat> might be a little pissed at you um, for not listening to it, not taking care of it, treating it poorly, totally disregarding it, uh, we're going to ask for a healing for that as well. And a download. They want to find, and we're going to give them a download. They're like, I know how to connect with the consciousness of my human physical form and provide it everything it asks for by listening to its requests. If you'd like to know how to do that, what that feels like, just say yes, and we'll download that to you. There we go.
So from our perspective, the body has its own consciousness. It has its own awareness. Um, it's not like another person per se. Well, it is actually. It does have its own opinion to some degree. But it does whatever you tell it to do. Um, and you are really the steward of your body. And so your body tries to communicate with you all the time through feelings, through emotions, through, through discord, um, through the physical. And that's kind of like you and your intuition working together to kind of give you here in the physical dimension the keys and the cues as to where you are um, in your evolution, what it is that you're working on, and give you a reflection of your own internal world and your own internal reality um, through your outer world so that you can actually measure what's happening in your outer world, whether it's pain, discomfort, situational, vibrational, and to use that as your reflection as your as your um, your ability to see your internal world through the external circumstances so it's um, so that you can see if there's any discord externally you know where to go in internally and recalibrate that your internal world you create sorry what is it your outer world is a reflection of your internal world is what they're saying and so that can that your body does help you with that as well. She's your partner, she's your friend, or he is, um, and she or he is trying to communicate with you all the time to give you this information um, and lessons even to some degree. So it's uh, very important to know how to connect and uh, read those signs for your own ability to uh, spiritually evolve and grow at a little bit of a quicker rate than most people. You're saying we are complete. I'm going to close the session and let the energies go, but we'll leave it open for some feedback afterwards. So we're going to ask that you be wrapped in a safe, sacred container of love and light that has the capacity to seal these vibrations in to the degree that is appropriate for your own spiritual growth and evolutionary state. We thank the angelic realm who has come forth to serve and assist today and to all of you for joining us on our live stream. For as you shift, humanity shifts with you. Let it be so. Oh, we are complete. Just take a deep breath in. And bring yourself back to the space, wherever it is that you are. Back into your body for some of you.